believe that we have a literal two-year-old that's so nuts in like one way it feels like it's been longer but then it's like i don't feel any older and seeing like how much she's changed i mean i guess i feel older but like i don't know it's like depending on how i think about it sometimes it feels like so long ago that i gave birth and sometimes it feels like it was literally like months ago i just remember it so clear yeah but then i look back at like our disney vlog and it she was literally she looked younger than she was but two months ago i know she looks like so much older yeah kids freaking age so fast it's nuts we're setting up we're doing some balloons we're gonna have gluten-free pancakes with she's not gluten-free let me just say don't call defects on me i'm gluten-free <laughs> with Fun little party sprinkles. Yeah, we got sprinkles put in it, and then we just got some like little breakfasty things. We were gonna go to breakfast. Okay, this angle just feels so weird, like to cut our whole hats off. We were gonna go to breakfast, like go to Chick Fil A and get biscuits. But I asked her, I was like, "Do you want to go to breakfast in the morning for your birthday?" And she's like, "No." I was like, "Okay." But we're, we're gonna like, make like big stack of pancakes with her candles. Yeah, but we asked her, "Do you want pancakes and yogurt and fruit?" And she's like, "Yeah." yeah so we're like, "Okay, I guess that's what we'll do." She loves a routine every morning. She has the same exact same thing, thing every day. Purple yogurt, which is literally just vanilla yogurt in a purple container. Yeah. <laughs> with blueberries and granola, eggs. Sometimes sausage, sometimes <laughs> pancakes. So tomorrow we're just gonna have all of that. Same thing every day. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna set her up a little thing. I overnighted. This is just like, you know, if you're not the mom who's like over prepared, like I didn't even buy my kid's birthday gift until today. Her birthday's tomorrow. I'm overnighting it from Amazon. We are having a full on party next, next weekend. weekend. So, so I've been we'll thinking do about the big that. stuff then. Yeah, so I've had my mind on Hold that. On. A balloon is stuck to Jake and he thinks it's like the most incredible. Oh, literally falls as soon as I show. I know it's her birthday. I know it's so special, but like for a few more years, she doesn't really get the concept of a birthday. So I'm not trying to take away from the specialness of it. I want her to feel loved. I want her to feel special, but it was just Valentine's Day and she got presents then. She's going to be like, this what kid is a, going This kid on? gets a toy and a present every time we go to the store. Truly. So we're like, okay, one, okay. Big, one big present that she'll be excited for breakfast and decorations. Yeah. My, you I say let's doing, make her feel special when we literally do that every day. And no, I love doing decorations and like meals for holidays or like special things. That's kind of like my vibe. I do like giving gifts is fine, but I like doing like decorating and like yeah. hosting something, you know. So making her a special breakfast with like funfetti pancakes will be so cute. That's what I'm most excited about. Um, aside from it being Milo's birthday tomorrow i tried to do this last year and it was kind of an epic fail i did it for like a week or two try to do this thing called morning girl march that i made up and jake and i are gonna do it morning marriage march <laughs> that's lame but we're just trying to be better morning people get up earlier get more done spend more time with the lord and just like with ourselves i guess do a little like low impact workout before we do our like harder workout but we just want to be spending our mornings better it's just it changes the whole pace of your day if you get up and like have a good routine and like make your bed and wash your face especially having a kid if you can like do something for yourself before your kid wakes up for me it literally changes my entire day it, it goes so much better i feel so much less stressed so much less rushed. And I think because I'm a person who feels Oh, that just sent anger down me. I didn't, I just was literally tying the balloon. Like I have all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty of these. That just made me feel It wasn't even that big. I'm a person who like what gives me energy. I don't know if this makes me an introvert. I don't necessarily think so. Can you go do that somewhere else? I feel really energized when I have like a self-care moment. Like I need time to myself kind of often. This freaking guy. <laughs> and if I can like wake up, wash my face, 
take a cold shower, or whatever, in the morning, put on, like, get dressed or whatever, that literally changes the whole pace of my day if I can do that before Milo wakes up. So I really just need to prioritize it and be a big girl and have some self-discipline. Like we're literally parents. <laughs> We're freaking adults, bro. No, I just don't like waking up and like she's already awake. And so like the first thing I do is like I have to start doing stuff for her, which sounds terrible, but it's like, then you, it you takes away like, from time to do stuff for myself, then doing everything for her from like a really good, healthy mentality, you know? I just need to, point blank period, we need to be better at getting up earlier. So we're gonna do it morning vibe march so we're gonna set up for milo's birthday tonight it's pretty much all that's going on and i'll show more of her birthday tomorrow Ooh, a good touch oh video Jake had some quiet time and that's really all that we need I did my skincare and everything so now I'm gonna start making breakfast so my little can wake up to that and really crossing my fingers hoping freaking praying that this ice cream toy gets here it's here That's so cute. So cute. She's gonna be so excited. I know she's waking up and we're trying to like rush get everything done. What is it? birthday was yesterday and I really didn't film a lot um, just because I don't know it was just her birthday we were just kind of hanging and honestly we didn't do anything like crazy extravagant or anything um, some family came over my sister came over with my nephew and I mean really just like spent time with her like Jake and I were saying I was like what could I do to like make her day feel special and he was like she's two she's not gonna like literally unless we go to disney world which is the only thing she asks to do 
Um, she probably just wants to play and I was like, yeah, that's true. It was rainy, which kind of sucked, but oh, we did go to gymnastics and she's officially moving up to the bigger class, which means I won't do the class with her anymore, which is kind of crazy. For today, I'm going to Trader Joe's right now. We have not done like a good restock in a couple of weeks. And honestly, I'm kind of feeling really crummy today. I actually thought that I got Milo's stomach flu this morning. I just felt like really nauseous, some um, stomach issues to say the least. And then it kind of subsided. I didn't, I haven't had an appetite at all, but I ate an apple, had a little bit of a coffee because I just was like low vibe energy. And my skin is kind, you know when you like are kind of sick or you're kind of starting to not feel good and your skin kind of aches it's like your clothes hurt to touch your skin that's kind of how i'm starting to feel it's like the very beginning so i'm gonna sit in the sauna later today and just see normally if i attack it with vitamin c right away and which i have not done yet but attack it with vitamin c and then sit in the sauna and just like sweat as much as possible and hydrate i can pretty much catch most sicknesses that are coming my way pretty quickly so we'll just have to see if, I don't know if I can catch this one. I don't know if it's stomach, I don't know if it's the same. Aside from like not feeling good physically, I feel like the past like two to three days I've been in like kind of a weird mental spot. I just feel like ever since going on vacation, I'm so anxious for change in our life. Like I have like such a clear vision of, you know, not exactly where but I do think that like we're going to be living coastal and like I've been talking to my dad about it it's like if you can live the life that you dream of you know like my dad's always like why would you want to live in Florida that's where we vacation and then that like wonders taken away from that I'm like but if I live in Florida where we go vacation then I could go vacation somewhere else like that's just like my whole mentality I don't know and I just am so anxious for like our life to or for us to end up like where we want to be or for just like god to open a door to wherever just i don't know i'm just feeling really transparently just like really mentally kind of stagnant i feel like i'm kind of like stumped for like growth or creativity i don't know and i also know that i'm about to start my period so it's probably the freaking luteal phase eating me alive but i'm just kind of feeling like stumped right now i don't know exactly why i don't want to feel this way i'm just kind of feeling a little uninspired whether it be where i live or whatever i don't know i just i want i'm itching for some change which jake and i ever since we got married every two years we have had change like we've moved we've gotten a different job or whatever and i'm personally really happy and content like in my part-time job situation i feel like i'm working really hard for social media to become full-time for me i would love youtube to grow like i feel totally content like inspired i guess with like my own professional life i think it's like environmental i'm feeling no i'm not feeling it i'm feeling stuck i'm feeling eh. that's another reason why like i'm so excited that jake quit his job is that i really hope that this is totally it's totally a step of faith huge giant step of faith i mean he's not gonna have an income but i'm just really believing that like and feeling like god's gonna do just something really incredible in our lives this year oh that's a cute house for sale but all of that to say <laughs> let's go to trader joe's while i just literally heart dumped in the car so Chocolate. They're gonna be gone today. Donut holes. These are so good. I mean, they didn't even put like a zip. No, they said on, you're like... gonna eat them all today. Mm -hmm. They don't even give you the option to try to save them. This vlog might literally be one of the most boring vlogs ever I've ever done, you've ever seen. 
I've literally been laying here watching Griselda for hours and I'm just kind of feeling, like I said, I'm just not feeling hot today. So I'm just laying, chilling. It's not really often that like I feel like low and tired or whatever enough to like really do nothing. Like I can normally force myself out of it. I don't even feel like I can do that today. And it's weird because I was telling Jake, I was like, it's not like I feel like, oh, I'm so sick. I just feel so tired. Like I have no appetite. My body's just kind of feeling sore. Like I'm just, I don't know. I just feel like I need to just like take a chill, take a break. So him and Milo are going to his parents' house for, I mean, until later. Her bedtime's not until like nine o'clock. So I was like, please go somewhere. <laughs> So I can chill and as a mom there's like no feeling that matches like being home alone it's like being in a hotel room by yourself like I'm like oh. and the house is clean already there's not really anything to be doing I'm like this is amazing I'm gonna go back to watching Griselda this show's so interesting if any of you have watched Griselda please tell me because I'm like suckered in I don't know why I'm like sure I don't know. I'm going to get into this. I don't know if I can say any of the words that this show is about on YouTube without getting literally like shadow banned, blocked, channel canceled. So I'm just not going to say it, but go check it out. If you're into like these types of shows, hit me up. I have a weird, very versatile taste in content to consume because it's like, you ask me what podcast I want to listen to what we said i want to listen to two girls gapping it up telling funny stories and talking about girly freaking crap you ask me what show i want to watch i want to watch something about drugs <laughs> like why am i this way you ask me what movies i want to watch a rom-com like my i have large i have a big variety of stuff that i like to watch and consume so that's it for me I'm gonna go now bye <laughs> Okay, many hours have gone by, and all I've been doing is watching Griselda, and I finished it. And I know I haven't really had an appetite today, but I just feel like I should eat something. Also, I have a hat on in my house right now, because I have, I'll just show you, I have the biggest pimple. It doesn't look that big, because the like tip of it isn't that big, but like you can see the red, how wide and swollen it is. I have to make myself some breakfast for dinner because eggs and sausage just always sounds good. I feel like, like I had some of those little donut holes, but I feel like I really need to eat like some form of protein or something. I think Jake and Milo are on their way home now. So I will see them soon. Yeah, uh, okay daddy. <laughs> God, I just got freaking yelled at. Um, yeah, okay daddy. I'm okay. <laughs> He's checking on you. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Daddy, excuse me. What would you like? What am I excusing? Mm. Is it right there? just got out of church and now we are at a car show I don't know we saw an ad online on Facebook that Lightning McQueen was gonna be here so that's why we're here and we're just winging it uh, we're not really car show people so we're just gonna kind of see what happens but let's go to a car show <laughs> Here, come here, say cheat. Do you hear it? Okay, just got over to my parents' house to do a workout. It's later in the day on Sunday. Not much went on between the car show and coming here. I'll hold this because it's very great right there. But, no, but I'm going to do a workout, watch some vlogs, hope that this pimple goes away. If you want to pray for me. But anyways, hope you're having a good Sunday, but by the time you watch this, it's probably gonna be like Wednesday. So. Oh! Give me a second. 
Can I? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Milo's gonna talk about going to the playground and jumping on the trampoline. Go! Food of the week. Daddy. 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 Do you have any um, salad? Salad? Salad makings? Yeah, I got kale. Peppers. Milo took a tiny little tumble, and by tiny little tumble, I mean a big tumble at the playground. Did you fall? Oh. Oh. No. Are you okay? What? Milo yeah. fell off of the playground. It was really scary. Did you fall? But then she got back up and said she wanted to fall yeah, down again. Yeah, then she said, before we left, she said, fall off the playground again, because she said it was fun. What about mommy? Mommy. Oh, mommy. Does mommy look cool? Mommy, mommy, night -night. mommy go night-night. It is so loud in this house. Wake up, little bunnies. Chef Jake on the Peppa Cut. Chef Jakey's. Entire vlog so far has been Friday, a little bit of Milo's birthday, me laying on the couch yesterday. This is the most energy the vlog has had yet. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. So we're gonna have to make the most of it tonight. Is this gonna, well we have and meal prep And this is again day. where I see our height difference. I'm married to a decapitated man. <laughs> um, also, we have got to, and I added stuff to Amazon, but we've got to order things for her birthday. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Come on, Milo. Right here. Okay. 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 Ok